an East Bay neighborhood that knows the threat of a firestorm all too well is tired of watching and hoping that it doesn't happen again. KPI X5's Wilson Walker shows us how they are taking the firefight into their own hands. Wilson? Well, as the fire concern has been building in these hills for years now, think about it, Oakland, Berkeley, uh, East Bay Regional Parks, multiple counties, there are any number of jurisdictions or cities that this threat touches upon. The cost is tremendous. The challenge is tremendous. Well, today, some fire threat mitigation occurred, and it was done by the people themselves. They found a way to pick up the tab. We are taking out the smaller diameter Monterey pine trees that are the understory plants in the, in the grove. After four days of tree and brush removal, you can now see some before and after in a few spots. That's where our first push was. Now we're kind of move, moving over to the other side. This park is Oakland's wildland urban interface, and it's the same spot worried neighbors pointed us to last June. This is all Joaquin Miller Park down here. My estimate is a doubling to tripling of the fuel load in this canyon. A top concern has been Skyline Boulevard, so when the city did not have funding for fuel reduction on this critical escape path, neighbors secured a $10,000 grant from the California Fire Foundation. Right, we have grant funding for this area, which is rather small in comparison to the entire park. Jay Cassiani is with Friends of Sausal Creek, the group that got the grant and now the arborist. Um, and it's a, just a really large, expensive, time-consuming project to take, to take care of this much open space. They say the cost and scale of the project can't be a reason to avoid making a little progress when possible. Because the resources are finite. Everyone knows that. The risk seems infinite. But if you do things like this, coming through and making it so that the fire department can do its job, then you cut the risk immensely. Okay, obviously the, the, the big function in all of this is funding. What do cities and counties have to spend on fire mitigation? That obviously fighting right now with, with coronavirus and everything that has come for that. So the funds are stretched thin to do all of the fire mitigation that we would all like to see. The arborist who you just heard from that story, he says he is now doing jobs like this all over the Bay Area, pretty much partnered up with the fire departments and local homeowners who have all kind of pooled their money together to get some work done. That might be a little bit of the future of fire mitigation in the years ahead. We are live up here in the Oakland Hills. Wilson Walker, KPIX5.